Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system to check out from the user Cyrus Plays, so probably one of our oldest um, uploaders for this series as well. And yeah, he is back with another system. So yeah, before we get into that though guys, just a massive thank you as always for um, coming back to these videos every um, every upload and just liking, commenting and just leaving support in general. Just a huge thanks to all of you guys for that. And also if you want to send in your own simulations as well for this series, make sure to either join my Discord discord server link in the description and upload in our um, upload channel um, if you want to send a system in that way or you can um, upload it on the steam workshop and let me know the name of the system in the comments but please note i may um, lose it in the comments so you may have to um, keep reminding me on some of the videos but yeah the safer option and the um, easier option is just to join my discord and do it through um, that way but yeah that all out the way guys let's get into today's um, system so yeah this system is called the um, the myth jeo system so i hope i'm saying that all right but yeah let's go ahead and uh Search this up, and again, yeah, this is by the user um, Cyrus Place. So yeah, one of our oldest, um, oldest um, guys to upload all of these. He's been, he's, he's sent loads of systems in over the years. Um, but yeah, let's see what he has prepared for us for today. So right, Myth Jo system. Okay, so sequel to the iOS system there. Um, okay, I think we've escaped the aliens. We'll be setting up a colony on one of the planets soon. Here is a system log for some of the more interesting planets. Yeah, this is a sequel to one of the ones I must have done ages ago. I'm not sure if I've got it in my save, as it, the game did delete all of my my saves from the newer updates so yeah i'm not sure i will have this it may be in my old um older um save files i don't god knows where they are now i'll see because they've been ruined but yeah i'm assuming we did um check out the original one to this but anyways right so the first um planet and then before we check that we'll check out our star oh we got a barrier center in here as well okay interesting but yeah the star here it is here so it looks to be like a red orange dwarf sort of stat um object here luminosity and sun so yeah pretty pretty dim I'm guessing that'd be more of an orange dwarf just due to the temperature it's got there. But yeah, there we go. And it's also got a... That's definitely a red dwarf there. Um, so yeah, there we go. Right, so that's in the barrier center with this one. So that's our center point of gravity would be right here. So yeah. Yeah, not good to see a barrier center back. We've not seen... Um Barrier center is used much. But yeah, the barrier center is the center of mass or two or more bodies. Yeah, center of mass right there. So pretty awesome stuff. So we can see, yeah, the, the big star here, that pretty much dominates um, everything. But yeah, there we go. So then the second star, obviously it's not going to be, yeah, nowhere near as bright as the main one. But if we check the zones, so yeah, there we go. We can see, yeah, the, the other ones are definitely a lot smaller. But yeah, there we go. Right, so now moving on to the planet. So let's actually check out the objects in here. Because I did see it was quite a large file, about 14 meg, I think it was. So yeah, they've got a thousand objects. I'm guessing we may have some rings in here. But yeah, where are we? So the first object. So where are we? So it's this one over here. Right. So, oh, these are the interesting ones. Okay, no, no, we'll skip that then. We'll head back to... So this is the first planet. So yeah, we'll, we'll do them in order, of course. So here we go. So here's our first object. We'll go on a realistic, hopefully. Oh, it's very, very bright, but okay. So there it is here. So, sort of a Mercury-like object, not as hot as we can see, but yeah, around that sort of size, and it's mainly just a uh, simple rock right there. So yeah, there we go. Right, now moving on to the second of the objects as well. So again, it looks to be more of a, or a bigger sort of version of a Mercury-like object, and the lighting is very strange. It's got a studio mode. There we go. I'm guessing both of those stars are making it a little more bright, but if we just look on realistic, that looks like more like created from two stars. So maybe there's another star off over there, maybe. That'd be my guess, but uh, yeah, we'll keep on studio then. So here it is. So next object out. Right. Oh, it's got some moons as well. So we've got bonus ton over here and then minus ton. Okay. So that, I know that's a random generated name, I believe. But I think this one is uh, edited, but um, yeah, there we go. Right. So now we're moving on to this one again. So this is the first of the notable planets. So this one here. So it's a desert-like planet that could be inhabited. And then it has a moon, the polar opposite of the planet, hence the name. So we've got X here and then... However you say this one. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, complete polar opposites with the uh, red and the blue. This is quite a nice-looking Mars. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not a Mars, but it's sort of a Mars-type, or Mars-like-looking object. I mean, it's obviously got the colour. It's definitely got the colour. The atmosphere colour is pretty much near identical to the Mars one. It's got some polar caps on it as well. Maybe it was built off of Mars. We can see some weird water spots. I'm guessing that's due to the game being a little glitchy. We can definitely see some glitch um, going on at the top here with um, that polar cap. That's looking very funny. But, yeah, sadly, the game... It's not in the best state it's um, in right now, just with glitches. But yeah, there we go. So there is that one. Next up, we've got good gig gig gigantia there. So this is the next one. And it looks like it's got rings, or it's got a very uh, exploded ring. And we've got an orange and blue gas giant here. I believe we've seen ones like this um, in the past. Pretty um, classic design with the orange and blue there. Very nice. So gas giant, which houses our new colony. Okay. 
Right, and if you're wondering, we're originally going to settle on the Leonis system, but the aliens also took control of it. So I'm guessing, yeah, the Leonis system, that that had to have been one I did way, way, way back um, in one of the previous episodes of um, Cyrus's play systems. But yeah, there we go. So then the moons. So there we go. And then the other moon. So two moons around this guy there. This one's got a bit of an atmosphere going on it. Let's get a little closer to the underneath that atmosphere. So where are we set? Remove the atmosphere. Okay, so it's quite similar to the um, first planet we checked out, the Mars-looking one. This one's kind of similar to that, but with a more Venus, Titan-like coloured atmosphere there. So yeah, there we go there. Actually, I should get the stats on this. So where are we? Composition. Still harder to navigate through these menus, I think, um, compared to the older versions. But yeah, Earth similarity and then life -like. good. Okay, so pretty decent stats there, but I wanna, how, what did this one have? So this one had 96 and 42, so quite similar stats between the two guys there. Right, so there are those ones done. Now we've got Flamara over here. So this is a orange gas giant. So, yeah, there we go. So, the Flamara. Then we've got this one as well. So, a moon. So, Fila. And then the next moon, the Gassia over here. And this, oh no, this one, is this a, would you class that as a moon or is it a binary? I don't know, it's definitely, this one is a moon then. So, it's, this one's got a moon around it. So, a moon of a moon. So, we've got this small icy world here. So, that's Yang. Right, and then uh, he also said, um, P.S., there are also some rumors about an empire known as DPP. Divine Planet Protectors, which are coming after us to correct our wasteful ways. I think I remember. Now, the fact that he's mentioned wasteful ways, I think I remember the system. I, I'm, I think I remember the story behind that. I, I can't remember entirely, but I, I definitely, I'm sure I remember something about wasteful or that a system was ruined or something. I can't remember. It must have been so long ago, and I've done so many systems. But yeah, I, I think I remember bits of the previous um, one. I have to see if I can, can still try and find it and have a little peek at it. Um, but yeah, which are coming to correct our wasteful ways. Uh, they seem like religious streaks. No offense to anyone who follow religion out there. Right. So there we go. And then Soldier Kalia must be his steam name. But um, yeah, there we go. Right. And then we got Ying over here. So we had Yang and now Ying. So here we go. And this one is a much darker world, as we can see here. But yeah, there is. So there's a mother. Oh, that's the fleet's mothership. Okay. So we go all the way out here. So you can see there's a bit of like um, ring out here, but if we go all the way out, so we've got the fleet mothership. So we'll, it's got a very, very high uh, kilogram stat, as we can see here. Here it is. So it's, yeah, it's one of those weird objects. But yeah, there we go. It's also got sort of these. So it's these small. Oh my god, very, yeah. Whenever you have tiny objects in a big simulation, they go absolutely nuts. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, that does it for this system. But before we pack up, I'm going to quickly see. I'm going. I do have my older Universe Sandbox 2 systems in a separate file because obviously the game is now just called Universe Sandbox. But it creates a new folder for your simulations called Universe Sandbox compared to the old Universe Sandbox 2. So I want to see maybe if I still have this older system in my files because I did back them up. So maybe maybe it survived. So I'm going to quickly um. Just bear with me. I'm going to see if I can actually find that. So, Universe Sandbox 2, Simulations. All right, okay. And then the previous system was called the... I want to see if I can import it just to refresh. But do I have it? So, oh, it's not looking good. I-L-E... Okay, so... Okay, yeah, it's not here. I'm just, yeah, oh, that's a shame. Ah, oh, that, that sucks. Yeah, it's, just, it's forever gone. That's a real shame, but yeah, the Leela system or Iola system, I don't know if that's a capital L or an I there, I don't know the font and stuff, but yeah, I've searched both letters and I can't find it, so that's, that's a shame, but yeah, there we go, and then there's also this other star that's out here as well, because obviously we have that one, and then the main system was all the way over, so we were at Myth, no, no, yeah, we, no, we were here, weren't we, yeah. You know, yeah, we were around this system, and then it's got the old, so, th so that's the previous system here, so it's just got anything around it. Is there anything around it, or is it just a... It's just a star. Okay, so that's that's that was the system, one of the old ones we must have done. And it's also got this star around it as well. So I'm guessing these are both from his previous simulations and Mothership Fragment. I, I think I remember something about a, a Mothership Fragment as well. But yeah, there we go. Does this have any planets around it? Oh, and then it's got an activated... Yeah, I, Dyson, I think I, I think I remember something to do this. I have to... Um, try and find it in one of the older videos but yeah there we go but yeah enough of me rambling on that does it for today's um system so yeah really really nicely done and yeah i, I wish we could remember the rest of the story because obviously this is a sequel to some of the older ones but i can't remember exactly what happened in the older ones so yes i guess that's the disadvantage of just being me one guy going through everyone's systems there's a massive gaps between each people's systems it's quite hard to remember some of the older ones um so yeah that kind of sucks but um yeah i'll have to see if i can look back and try and find the older 
simulations um, for this. Maybe maybe the creator, Cyrus plays. if you're watching, maybe you can tell me which episode it was on so I can refresh uh, my memory on that. But yeah, with that all out the way, guys, a massive thank you for watching today's video. And like I said, if you want to send in your own simulations for this series, make sure to follow the instructions I said earlier. So that's the Discord or the comments. Um, so yeah, if you want to do that, then just make sure to follow those instructions. But you have that all out the way, guys. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes for today's um, simulation. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. I'm pretty sure the creator, Cyrus plays would also be interested to hear and what you have to say on his um, work here and yeah again a massive thank you to him for sending this in he's definitely um, one of the oldest um, people to send um, these in now he's been around for a long time sending these in so yeah massive thank you to him for sticking around and doing these um, and yeah with that all out of the way guys make sure you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video goodbye